Alright, so in case you haven't heard, LEGO Construction is officially back. Granted, not in the form it used to be in, and if I'm being honest, these brick built figures don't really scratch the same itch that Bionicle and Hero Factory scratched. But, you know, for what they are, they're pretty decent sets. Although, I'd like something just, I don't know, I guess a little more technical. Oh, yo, son, <laughs> So in today's video, I will answer a question no one asked. What happens if you combine Batman with a Bugatti? So the goal for this video is pretty simple. I want to try to make a decent looking construction figure using as many of these pieces as possible. And here are all the parts organized. Now you see this little grate in the back you know, with all these small parts? All these holes that the small parts can go through? Yeah, that was a stupid idea. Anyway, the first thing I want to do is take Batman's face and just kind of get it out of here. It's not going to be useful at all. But something I do think will be useful are these wheels. Now, it, this immediately gives me an idea to do something on roller skates, kind of like Umbra or Sideswipe. So, after a little bit of tinkering, I come up with a design that has pretty decent posability and balance uh, with the ability for the wheels to roll. And then I get to work on a body. I'm pretty happy with the way the lower part of the body turned out, but uh, the upper half needed a lot more work because it would just kind of keep falling off. But I decided it would be more important to start work on an upper torso, uh, so I just know what I'm working with uh, when I start making that connection. I make sure to add room for a head, and I start working on a pretty simple arm design. Uh, the lower half of the arm doesn't really stick, but uh, the upper half, I'm pretty happy with the way that turned out. It's uh, pretty stable, pretty bulky, and I think it looks pretty solid. The only real problem with the upper arm design is that blue pin kind of stands out a little bit. It looks like it should be covered, but I couldn't cover it without redesigning the entire thing. And now I have the core design of everything I want to make, so we'll start with the legs. Uh, they're mirrored. I had to uh, swap the axle on the front wheel out uh, because it just kept falling off, but it also uh, provides a little friction makes it stand up better. Uh, I definitely need to do something about the upper leg, but really other than that I think this is a pretty solid uh, leg design, especially for what I'm going for. It rolls pretty decently. Uh, next up we have the lower half of the torso. Um, I decided to attach some flaps to the side, kind of help bulk it out. Uh, this will need to be kind of redesigned. Um, because the, the way the design works is the stud kind of connects into that, but uh, only having it one stud is not stable enough. It falls out very easily. Uh, and then I have uh, some uh, stuff in the back to help cover up that white piece. I uh, should probably also do something with the, the other stuff on the back here as well. Next up are the arms. I really like the way these kind of round shoulder pads uh, turned out. I think they give a nice cohesive look and uh, they move in a way uh, that will allow me to bend the shoulder pretty much however I want. I want to do something to cover up these uh, red pins because I think they just kind of stand out and look weird. Added some stuff to the back of the arm because I thought it looked cool. Uh, the forearm definitely needs the most work. Like this is probably the most unfinished part of the model. So I'll definitely see what I can do about that. And finally, we have the upper torso. Uh, the head is probably not gonna stay this way. I decided to go with the uh, Batman logo because I thought maybe I could try using it like an eye or a mouth, but I'm probably not gonna keep it. This thing has kind of a system structure uh, with a bunch of Technic panels which are used to connect the arms. Well, let me just go ahead and finish putting him back together. So this is the core structure of the figure, uh, but now I want to see how much of this I can use up to make him cooler. 
So after a couple days of tinkering, here's what I came up with. I'm mostly pretty happy with the way that he is now, but th there's just one slight problem with this model, and that is it's very heavy, so it's not very stable. So I'm both at the limit of stuff I can put on and actually need to kind of remove some stuff. Uh, but anyway, let's actually get into the figure. Uh, bulked up the legs a little more, put some uh, uh, system pieces on here to help kind of bulk it out. And of course, the wheels still have the ability to roll. Apart from that small piece holding the uh, kind of gut armor together, uh, the lower torso is uh, constructually the same, uh, but I did add uh, some more pieces on the back just to kind of use those parts up and uh, kind of fill it in a little more and kind of see uh, this thing's structure. Something I am fairly proud of is the fact that I was able to give this guy some pretty solid waist articulation, uh, which is not very easy to do with figures this big. I added a bunch of stuff to his back and this is going to be removed because it just weighs too much and if I'm being honest it doesn't even look that good. Alright, like you can kind of see uh, the figure kind of flopping around just because the upper body weighs a little too much. The head was something I just kind of slapped together. Um, actually kind of looking at it now it looks a little bit like uh, Roberto from uh, Futurama. And while I think this is a solid enough head design, it kind of clashes with the rest of the figure. So changing it is definitely a top priority. To help bulk out the lower arm, I decided to attach a couple blades. But I still need to work on, uh, work on the design a little bit. Make it uh, a little more polished and finished, definitely fill in that small gap there. I wish there was something I could do about the wrists, but there's really nothing I can do uh, unless I feel like just overhauling the hand design, which, you know, given the amount of pieces I have left, is not going to be uh, very doable. So I'd say this figure is about like 95% done. Let's get it to 100. All right, and here is the final version of the figure. This guy turned out to be pretty tall, uh, standing at 13 inches. 14 if you want to count the tips of the horns, but 13 inches. But if you want to get more of a sense of scale, here he is next to Stormer XL. As you can see, guy is pretty tall. When it came to the head, I decided since it's spooky season, why not go for something a little more satanic than what I had before. So, looking at the parts I had available to me, I had these kind of half-sized uh, tan gear pieces, and I remembered seeing them as teeth. I think it was in the Bionicle Inspiration series, but uh, I don't really have the time to go look through all of that. I really think these uh, horns help tie the design together. Uh, gives it a little extra character and personality, on top of the uh, four eyes as well. The upper torso also needed to have a little bit of work done as well, uh, because the ball joint was already starting to lose its friction. So I had some stuff to kind of stop it from moving forward and backwards, but it can still turn side to side decently. It was basically either that or just wait until this thing uh, just falls over due to gravity. I also decided to move the arm blades up a little bit, because uh, it kind of helps hide the wrist. And here are all the parts left over. Now, I could have put stickers on this thing, because um, I think a little issue that I have is that uh, the yellow isn't very prominent, because a lot of the yellow on the Bugatti was from stickers, but I don't think it really matters that much. A bunch of large Technic lift arms were left over just because there was really nowhere I could put them on the model without restructuring the model. The only Technic uh, panel left over was the Bugatti logo, which I kind of wanted to use it, but... Oh well. Here are all the uh, small Technic parts. Uh, I mean, obviously there would be a lot left over. The Bugatti itself had 115 pins. And here's the rest of the miscellaneous stuff. Uh, a lot of system parts, and yeah, I could 
you know, throw more system on here, but I, I don't really think it's necessary. I think uh, the figure itself looks just fine without it. I have decided to name this guy Road Wrath for really no reason in particular. I just think it sounds cool. But hey, if you enjoyed the video, uh, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. There are more Technic vehicles out there, and there are more brick built construction figures out there, so who knows, maybe I could do another in uh, the near or not so near future. Uh, yeah, I guess that's everything, so uh, take care everyone.